if you don't know me already so it's my birthday weekend I am 25 tomorrow and to celebrate we are going to London so we did go to London a couple months ago for Sam's birthday we are gonna go and leave for the airport in literally five minutes and that's when um, Sam's mom is gonna pick up Alfie um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be so sad that um, he's gonna be without us for four days so hopefully he doesn't forget us um, I'm a little bit ill and no it's not you know COVID um, I can still taste and smell um, but if I do sound a bit croaky and a bit ill then then you know why um, yeah let's go to London because I'm so excited so we're at the airport now and we have to get some food I've been starving since half four this morning so I got a cappuccino with oatmeal and we got three ham and cheese toasties because we're absolutely starving and Sam got a latte um, thank you. I'm gonna have some sweet now because my throat is sore and a coffee would do it so good. And I need sugar when I'm in sick, so. It's so sad saying bye to Alfie. So yeah, there's nothing really exciting going on. It's pretty like empty in here, which is kind of a good thing because so there's no big queues. Let's just open the ham and cheese toasty. Oh my god, it's like stuck. Oh my god. That was so good. What's in there? Is there tomato in there? Mmm, it tastes like pizza. Mm. <laughs> The first restaurant we go to when we land in London is literally Lao Cafe, it's so good. So the first item we got was um, som tam, lap, sao sausage, grilled pork neck and a soup called Tom Set which is like a pork rib soup, it's so good. And then we got sticky rice. <music> idea what happened to this clip but basically we went to Chinatown we got loads of goodies from the Chinese store and so we wanted to do a taste test so here you go hi guys oh my god my voice sounds so bad the first snack is um chocolate corn crisps Sam wants to get these out of the way because he doesn't think he'll like them I like what's it oh they, they smell a bit funky So dramatic! Don't be so dramatic. They're like stale. No, they're not. Oh, I love them. <gasps> they taste like Weetabix minis. Next item is these savory corn cracker things. Oh, they smell good. Okay, so they look like this. They're smaller than I thought they were going to be. Ready? One, two, three. Very savoury, but then the last aftertaste is quite sweet. Mmm. They're definitely a good movie snack, I think. Then we got some dried mango. Everybody loves dried mango. Sam chose this. We love dried mango. I, I haven't tried dried mango in ages. Like, way before my fitness journey, I stopped eating man dried mango because it was so high in sugar. Look at that. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh. Oh yeah. Next item, um, we wanted some bubble tea and we wanted mochi, so we found bubble tea mochi. Oh, they're tiny. Mm. Oh, it's so squishy. Okay. Mm. I like the texture. Mm, the texture's really nice. But I think I ate the um, the tapioca in the middle. I could eat quite a few of them. Really, one's more than enough for me. It's quite sickly. Now we got a few drinks as well. We love these drinks and back in Jersey they're like how much? £2.50. £2.50 and from the Asian store here it is literally £1.50. £1.30. £1.30. Oh my god. So we got three flavours and we usually go for the lychee. Lychee is our all-time favourite. We used to have this all the time when we were travelling. Mm. 
lychee drinks are just so good they had literally had so many they had like 10 flavors that i've never seen before um and then we got some mango not my favorite after bubble tea much it kind of has a weird mochi it tastes a bit weird it tastes artificial doesn't it yeah and the last one we got was peach so mix it so the bits so there's like floating bits of coconut in there no it's uh pulp no see yeah got a chew oh got a chew great <laughs> had a little <laughs> Oh, you are right, it is coconut gel. Yeah, see? So this is the peach one, it's so cute. Mmm. There's some, that's actually really nice. It's a nice sweet because the melon one is well too sweet. Good morning, everybody. I sound terrible. It's my birthday. I think I'm gonna stick with yellow. So Sam's got me a card and also a present. I told him not to wrap it. Okay. Thank you. Card. Ooh. Oh, thank you. This is the card. The message is so cute. Okay. I would scream but I can't. So this is the bag, it comes with a strap. Just look at that, look at that, look at that. It's just so nice, look at it. There's like this at the back as well. At the front it says camera bag because it's literally a camera bag. <laughs> Honestly, I can't speak. So I decided not to go to the gym today because I just didn't feel that great um, and plus I didn't bring my pre-workout so I just wouldn't have a good session overall. So I'm just going to take this time on my birthday and probably tomorrow and the next day as my rest week and then I'll get back to it. So I'm just going to show you what I got for my birthday because I haven't bought, I'm gonna be true with you, I haven't bought makeup in literally five years, I know, and makeup runs out within like 24 months or whatever. So um, for my birthday, Sam decided to buy me some new makeup. Sam bought me a new foundation. It is the MAC Water Weight um, SPF 30 foundation in color NC30. And then he got me a lipstick. Now, I don't really wear lipstick at all, um, but this one's so natural because I wanted to become that lix lipstick girl, you know? So I got this um, sh uh, Sheen, a Sheen lipstick from MAC in color Hug Me. And then, um, what else did I get? Sam bought me, so with, along with the lipstick, I wanted to be like, a lip liner person because I usually I just wear lip gloss um, I just don't like the feeling of like lipstick on my lips but this I'm not like, kidding you but this combo is so good B21 pencil in the color well is that how you're supposed to say it I really don't know um, and then it's this one and it's literally so nice it, the combo together is just so good together <laughs> me trying to be like <coughs> a makeup guru by doing this um yeah so i'm just gonna speed through getting my makeup because my throat i need to give it a bit of a rest um yes right let's do another haul okay so we went shopping yesterday as like a pre-birthday shop um because i wanted something to wear today so this is the first place we went to was obviously zara i've been dying to get one of these i was gonna order one from pretty little thing asos but i just didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, so I'm so glad I was able to try it on first. So I got this black silk shirt. So that was from Zara. Then next item is a well, a bag from Pull and Bear. So I've been dying to get like a really good hoodie because all my hoodies are either shrunk, faded, or they've gone really like bubbly. 
so i wanted like a nice good one especially while i'm here because it's quite cold there's like donut crumbs on here already um so i just got a basic black hoodie and i i literally on my list of what to get when i got here was a black hoodie and this is actually oversized it's good it's perfect it's a size small and um it's oversized on me so i think this purposely like oversized so my goal was to get a gilet especially as leather one i was going to buy one from asos but asos recently have just not been good like their sizing is like terrible so um i made my mission to buy one i was going to buy a black one from zara but it just didn't fit very well and it was really cropped and i did not like it so i got this one from um you know the shop that i can't pronounce stradivarius <laughs> Um, so I got this beige one. I know I said I was going to get black, but I thought this just looks so expensive. Like the the leather gilet, it's oversized, but it's like not super long and it's not super short. But it's like perfect size. So I can wear a hoodie underneath this. I can wear multiple layers. And then I got some blue jeans. So I got some fit flares um, from Stradivarius as well. Um, so they're like fitted on your leg and then they kind of go straight and then they they flare out a little bit and they kind of look like Levi's like the the um, the wash of them you know so I am going to ask reception to borrow some scissors because I just need to cut like this much um, if you're petite like me go online for Stradivarius because they don't have petite in store so um i'm gonna ask reception if i can borrow some scissors because i'm thinking of wearing this with my um black blouse tonight i don't have any heels so i'm thinking just wear my snake skin boots that i bought so i got some new balances and i think you already know what style i've gone for because they're just so in right now um so i got these they're just so nice i love the brown so that kind of goes with like beige outfits black outfits and then they're supposedly black, so I got them, um, but to me they're navy, but yeah, these are, um, and that's all I got for this time this haul so walking through london and we found this place called plant and it's actually a vegan cafe so everything's like vegan there's no dairy no meat or anything like that they had loads of like health shops and i chose an orange and turmeric i was literally hyping myself up but it actually tasted like orange juice and it was really really good so i definitely recommend getting this we also got an ake bowl i got a berry ake bowl and it had like almond butter and it was actually really really yummy and then i got a smoothie honestly i can't remember what was in it i think it was kale and spinach and banana and then sam got a pastrami sandwich and honestly i can't believe it was vegan it was so good and sam got two at the end too which was just really really good um the aqua bowl was 10 out of 10 i went for a second time and the second time was better but it was still really good so i definitely recommend it hi guys we are hey, back hey, hey. sam's in the background um, we just got back from a whole day out, um, and I just come home to this. Sam got me these. They came in such a bougie box, like, oh, it's so cute. And I tell Sam never buy flowers for me because I, I prefer dried flowers. But when he does this, like, oh, it's so cute, and I appreciate it way, way, way more. Now I'm going to go and get ready because we are going out for sushi. I'm all like I'm more fooded out to be honest but we're gonna go for some drinks and eat some more food and then yeah okay it's time to get ready with Izzy um to go out for my birthday meal um I'm still gonna carry on with this makeup I'm just gonna top it up because I'm lazy as um so I'm going to just top up my makeup do my usual blush contour everything else um you might have to deal with my croaky ass voice, but um, yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is matte my face a little bit. So I'm just gonna use some translucent powder. I'm kind of vibing with the croaky voice, you know. I saw a, a TikTok where it was like, when the girl loses her voice and that's like her whole personality. Like, oh, I lost my voice. I'm such a party animal, oh. 
Okay, so that's my makeup done. Nothing changed really. Um, I'm gonna curl my hair now and then I'll get back to you when I am um, choosing outfits because I have no idea. Alright, guys, this is the first outfit. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not sure about the black inside. I might wear a white. Rather, I'm kind of improvising, you know. I've got my snake skin boots on. These ones. Um, what do you think? Or should I keep it open with this little top in? Oh, I don't really like that. It looks so boring. <laughs> I hate that. This is more of a casual option. You know, like Lucy, like relaxed option. This is nice with like chunky gold hoops. Okay, blaze dress, high boots. Um, what do you think? I'm not sure I like it as well. <laughs> okay, right. Um, I'm gonna go back, replay the video, and then see if it's good. You really make me wanna fly. Cross my heart and hope to die. So it's the next day and um, basically I lost my voice. It was so bad. I literally could not record. I was speaking but then I'm listening back and it was literally awful. No one wants to listen to that. But I'm basically explaining my day and we are going to Harry Potter World. Sam bought me these tickets two years ago so we can finally go and we cannot wait. Lonely, you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. <laughs> later now and as you can tell I didn't really film the last two days since we went to Harry Potter World so our plan was to go to um, Winter Wonderland but unfortunately when we got there we got rejected because we didn't have any tickets and this is the first year they had tickets and, and sadly they like sold out so they sold out on the Sat the Friday and the Saturday and we went on the Friday and it was really really sad because we planned to do like a food tour and everything but um, so we kind of just improvised and then we walked around London for a little bit. We went to Leicester Square, we went to the Christmas Market, had some churros. Um, and then we we're kind of a bit stuck on like what to do. So we ended up just like walking around aimlessly. Um, I really fancied a gin and tonic. So we went to um, a shop and we just bought little cans of gin and tonic and a bottle of beer as well. And we just like walked around because we saw loads of people do it. And we just thought, oh, we might as well do it because we didn't really want to sit down. We were hungry, but we didn't really want to sit down at a proper meal meal with loads and loads of food so we went to loads of different places in like Chinatown and different markets and stuff and we had loads of food. My voice was um, really 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 bad at this point so I didn't really film, there was just like no point and I just didn't have the energy as well, I just wasn't very well. And then um, a massive thing happened so basically we were gonna um, drive to Heathrow, drop our bags then go straight to Printworks from um, Heathrow Airport. But um, we read the rules that we needed a lateral flow test. So we were literally walking around London trying to find a lateral flow test. We eventually found one. Um, but by that time, we couldn't um, go to Heathrow drop our bags because otherwise it would have been way, way too late. So we got dressed at our hotel, which we stayed at, was St. Martin's Lane. I'll link it down below. It's the best hotel ever. Um, we got ready in the lobby <laughs> and then um, we left our suitcases there. And then we got to print works and honestly it was amazing we got there about half past five so we missed all the queues and everything it finished about 11 o'clock we stayed there and honestly it was so so good um i definitely recommend it if you love um house and techno music it's literally so good um it finished about 11 o'clock we got the train to somewhere we knew so we put london bridge and then we got an uber picked up our suitcases and then we headed back to our hotel honestly it was so good finishing like our night out at 11 o'clock because by that time everybody was going out and honestly i couldn't th think of anything worse than coming home at like three or four in the morning got an uber to heathrow stayed there for like four hours and then we got the early bird flight back to jersey but yeah, that was the um, birthday vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I wish I filmed a little bit more, um, but my voice was really, really bad and I just wasn't feeling well, which is really unfortunate. Um, 
But yeah, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Don't forget to turn on that notification button on so you get notified when I next post. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.